Welcome to Classic Game Room for the review of Subrock on the Mighty ColecoVision. Enjoy! Subrock being played here on the ColecoVision is based on a 1982 Sega arcade game, which according to the internet was called Subrock 3D, and I guess that makes this Subrock 2D. There is no 3D effect here, but I am playing it with this badass ColecoVision controller, the Ed Laden Super CV. For precise sub-rocking controls, this game feels like Sega's answer to Atari's Battle Zone or Robot Tank, which was Activision's answer to Atari's Battle Zone. Except instead of a tank, you're driving what I what I think is a submarine. Actually, I'm not entirely sure. I don't have the instructions, but you are destroying submarines, UFOs, spaceships, aircraft carriers, and occasionally a Spanish galleon that just happens to get in the way. I imagine it was up to no good. Subrock is an okay game on the ColecoVision, not one of the best, but after playing it for a while, it kind of kind of grew on me. I got into it. It's like so many of these old school early first person shooter style games, really. You just blow up stuff on screen and progress to the next level where everything is moving faster and shooting at you more frequently. It's an easy game to pick up for your ColecoVision. I imagine this was pretty cool in 3D. I mean, you can see the 3D. Ooh, there's a there's an aircraft carrier. Launch some torpedoes out there. And, ah. Oh, ah, oh, it, it missed. How did I miss an aircraft carrier? The sound does kind of get annoying after a while, and the game gets repetitive after every round, or at the end of every round. You can see I'm finishing up round three here. You'll battle an end boss spaceship, and I think what you do here, I'm not entirely sure, but I think you need to shoot around the force field, or maybe that's just distortion, I don't know. It looks like there's a force field, and if you keep shooting at it, eventually it'll explode and give you some points and send you to the next level where you battle the future submarine boat things, UFOs, spaceships, and uh, Spanish galleons. Subrock is alright. I love the title of this game, but I'm sure it was way cooler in 3D. In two dimensions, it's it's merely okay if you're buying a bunch of ColecoVision games and you stumble upon this one. If you like games like Battlezone or Robot Tank, check it out. You fire your torpedoes if you're aiming down at the boats. When you fire up at the air targets, you shoot lasers automatically. It's actually a little bit more fun than it looks, but not one of the best ColecoVision games. It's it's not up there with Frenzy or Omega Race or Truxton 3 on the ColecoVision. Those, those are the best games. Truxton 3 is hard to find, by the way. One might say it's impossible, in fact. Subrock, however, is quite easy to find and fun in small doses.
come on, I shot that thing. Whatever that was. <laughs> Classic Game Room has been brought to you by the ultra massive video game console guide. 230 pages of video games on Amazon.com, Retro Megatrex, and how to make a video game review show that doesn't suck. And Jesus number two. Welcome to the Patreon Lord Carnage Club being shouted from a turbo volcano. Michael and Ariana Nelson, Ian Shore, Stephen Chucknick, Al Stever, Rick DeBarros, Jason Goy, Andy Schleiss, Sergio Matthias Hergert, Philip Straubenmuller, Jack Stavris, Ohad Kane, Simon Allen, and Sean Zoltek.